Right, we're seed sowing again. Um, I've got my microphone working, so you should be able to hear me a lot better now. I've got these, so I'm going to plant these on. These are Asturian tree cabbage. Well, these are perennial, so that means that they don't die. So hopefully I'll get cabbage every year without having to replant new annual crops. That's what I'm aiming for. I'll to be a lazy gardener, eh? So I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna pop those on and then see how they go. Um I'm gonna have to do a bit more research because I've not had them before. So if anybody has got the Asturian tree cabbage, then let me know whether the white cabbage butterfly likes them. Um and whether I need to net them because I don't know yet. Um I've got these seeds as well, so we get some more seeds going on. I'm going to repot, pot on those. They're marigolds, so I'm going to pot those on. Or I don't know whether to just take them down to the. No, I don't think they're big enough. I'm going to pot those on. Um, I think my beans are ready to go out. So these are the um, purple violet uh, French beans. So I'm going to put those in the allotment this week. Because it's warmer, we've got 16 degree weather, so it's definitely warmer. So I think they can go out. Um, and then I've got the Blue Lakes. They're just your normal green beans, but they're a nice taste. Um, I don't think they're quite ready yet. I'm going to let them grow a bit more. And the Lotties have come through now as well. They've just started appearing. Um, the Butter Beans. We've got one, so they've just started appearing as well. But yeah, I want to get rid of quite a lot of these this week. So I'm going to put the nasturtiums, I'm going to get rid of those. They, they can go in the allotment now. Um, it's not warm enough for the corn, so I'm going to leave that at the moment. Um, I might actually chance putting the chickpeas in, um, because they've come on quite well and the the roots can you see the roots there they're coming through at the bottom so i think they need potting on as well uh, no planting out i'm going to plant them out i'm not going to pot them on um the borage i think i'm going to put in my, my back garden and some flowers need potting on i don't know whether i'm going to do them all today but it's just a constant cycle of potting on when you you're waiting for the weather so anyway, let's get some, that's kohlrabi. Might chance that going in the allotment this week. In fact, yes, I will. Right, let's get some seeds planted. I think just some normal compost. These now, I don't think we need anything special. Treat them like an ordinary cabbage. Made a little hole for each one, just the normal procedure. Let's tap these out. Very big root. Unless I've just broke it. Oh, that one does. I might broke that one.
Right. I don't know how many I need, really. Seems a lot. Right, let's give them a drink. Right, so I'm going to sow some flowers. Um, I've already got some quite a lot of marigolds going, so I'm going to sow some more. Um, calendula, I've never grown them before, so we'll put some of them in. Vines, these are for up my back fence. I don't even know where they'll germinate, I found them in the cupboard. And these are dwarf sunflowers. And I've got some flowers going and I'll put some more in and keep them going because they're my favourite flower. And the German and all the seeds, I keep all the seeds for the um, for the birds. Don't eat them. Right, same thing again. Little holes in each. And then I'll put a few seeds in each one. Give them a water from inside under the grow light. I'm hoping soon that I can get them, just direct sow them. Right. So I've opened these vine things and look. So I won't be planting them. Well, I will do, I'll put them in the allotment, but they have such poor germination in the soil there because of the weather. So they're going back there. I've read a red packet, it actually says seed tape. What an idiot. God. Right then. I'll put some calendula in. Looks like little worms, look at them. I'll just put a few in, in each. I'm not bothered about them growing in bunches, are you? I'm just going to do the dwarf sunflowers. I think that's it. I don't really want to, I've got so many flowers going here, I don't want to cram me um, the greenhouse up because I need the space now to put more grow bags down for my tomatoes so I need to start, stop doing this seed sowing, that's enough. Right. Oh, you don't get many in there. Is it me or is, do you know I bought some seeds this year, some of them I paid up quite a lot of money for. And I've got like five seeds in the pack, I'm fuming. I just feel like they've everything's gone up in price. Well, it has, everything has gone up in price, but milking it with seeds. Come on, how many seeds did you get in a sunflower? Look at these, they've given me like 10 seeds. Well, a few more than 10, I think I've got 20 seeds. Maybe I should start selling seeds, that's where the money is. Money grabbers. <laughs> right, water them now and then they'll go inside. We'll do a bit in the garden today. Um, it's very windy, but it's warm, so that's good. Can't keep complaining about the weather. I bought that, so it's twenty-five pound from Aldi. Um, I'm going to plant some beans out today. 
So I'm going to fill that with soil um, and then we'll pop some beans in it. So we'll do a bit in the garden. Let's get cracking. Right, I'm going to get some stuff moved out of the way. And then I'll fill it with some, some compost. That's it, so I filled it up there, so we've got some nice compost in it. I've put some old compost and I've just topped it off with a, a layer of fresh compost. So I'm going to put some beans in it now and get them out. Right, I think we'll put these purple ones in. Um, I could put a couple of those in as well because they're looking nice and strong. So, yes, let's get those in. I think the rest of these can go down to the allotment. Let's cut a couple of strips off. those in there so I'm gonna give them a drink now and then they'll climb I've got netting up there so you should get a nice bushy climbing French beans put some tomatoes in that spot there because they're not gonna be able to climb up anything so I'll just put a couple of canes to support them or I might even put like a trailing bush variety in there so yeah tomatoes in that bit on the potatoes look they're my first earlies so they're just starting to come into flower now um, I've only got one bag of first earlies so when they've finished flowering and they all start dying back don't touch the spuds until then but anyway everything's starting to come through now so we've got little shoots everywhere We've even got little shoots in there, you can see. So everything's starting to come through, which is all good. There, there's one there. Oh, finger cam. Right, I've had a bit of a rearrangement there. Um. I'm going to be planting some brassicas in pots soon. So I've got um, some cauliflower, um, Brussels sprouts, um, some Cavallo Nero. So I'm going to have to net this all the way around. So I'll just point up, it's got no netting on the top and it's got no netting on the front. So I'll just put the black netting right across the top and along the front and that should stop those little butterflies from getting in hopefully anyway that's it for this one 
So I think I'll be going to the allotment tomorrow. So um, I'll see you there. Bye for now.